In this video, I will be teaching you how to create a blog kahit wala kang technical or IT skills. Really, in just about 15 minutes, you will have your own blog up and running. So stay tuned! These are the four simple steps. Number one, get a domain name. Number two, get a hosting provider. Number three, install WordPress. And number four, install a theme. Let's proceed to number one, get a domain name. Basically, ito yung website address mo, like youtube.com, google.com. Brainstorm mo, ano ba yung gusto mong itawag sa blog mo. Once na figure out mo na yon, punta ka dito sa godaddy.com and i-check mo kung available ba yung domain name na yon. I-type mo dito sa search bar yung domain name na gusto mo. Then, click mo tong search. Lilitaw nun yung lahat ng available na extension like .club, .com, .online. So, pili ka lang dito kung ano yung gusto mo. After mong makapili, click mo lang tong add to cart. Click continue to cart. Heto mga added features yung mga to. Kung gusto mong i-add, pwede mong i-add tong privacy protection. I-hide niya yung iyong personal information like name, email address, and phone number in the public who is directory. So, kahit huwag mo munang kunin yan. Depende sa'yo. And ito, mag-a-add siya ng email address that matches your domain. So, I suggest, uh, huwag mo na din muna itong kunin as a start. And then, itong Linux web hosting. So, hindi mo naman kailangan yan. So, no thanks. And... Click continue to cart. Dito sa payment method, pwede kang gumamit ng credit card. Applicable din dito yung PayMaya virtual card. Pwede ka magbayad through PayPal, UnionPay, and Alipay. Next is input your billing information. Your first name, last name, ang iyong primary phone, address, postal code. And then, once okay na, just click save. After that, just complete your purchase. And then, makaka-receive ka ng email for your order. Step number two is get a hosting provider. This is the place where all the files of your website live like your information, images, video, and other content. For the web hosting, mararecommend ko is SiteGround. Kasi 3 years ko na tong gamit sa website ko and proven ko na very nice and easy to use and outstanding ang kanilang customer care service. Para ma-check ang kanilang hosting plans, i-click mo lang ang link sa description. And then, click any of this link to get started. Meron silang tatlong plan kapag isa lang yung website mo, so pwede mo nang kunin tong start up. And kapag meron kang unlimited websites and madami na yung visits monthly, you can get Grow Big or Go Geek. Just click Get Plan kapag nakapili ka na. Dito, pwede ka rin kumuha ng new domain sa kanila. I-type mo lang yung new domain na gusto mo and pili ka ng extension sa mga choices. Or kapag nakabili ka na sa GoDaddy, i-tick mo lang tong I already have a domain and type your domain name here. Nire-recommend ko yung GoDaddy kasi madalas meron silang discount sa mga domain names nila. So once okay na, click mo tong proceed. Dito sa page na to, i-complete mo lang yung mga required fields. Input your email, create a password, and confirm your password. And then, input your country, your first name, last name, and your city, um, street address, zip code, and phone number. And then, for the payment information, you can use a credit card. And once again, kapag wala kang credit card, pwede mong gamitin yung PayMaya virtual credit card. So, input your card number here, the card expiration date, your card holder name, and the CVV code. Dito sa hosting services, pili ka kung anong plan yung gusto mo and kung anong data center. And dito sa period, kung ilang months mo siyang kukunin, the more na mataas yung months na kukunin mo, the more na mataas din yung discount. Para dito sa extra services, so pwede mo yung kunin kung gusto mo. And once okay ka na, just click I confirm that I have read and agreed to the SiteGround Terms of Service and Privacy Policy. And itik mo na din tong 
I would like to receive side crown news and special offers by email kung gusto mong makareceive ng mga offers. But you can untick this kung ayaw mo. And then click pay now. Once nakapagbayad ka na, ganito yung makikita mo sa screen. Makakareceive ka ng email about your login information and about your new hosting account. Ganito yung itsura niya, your new account is live. So, pwede mo na ngayong iset up ang iyong website. So, una, i-click mo lang tong launch wizard. Ito na yung step 3 natin which is installing WordPress. Once ni-launch mo yung wizard, ganito yung lalabas. So, dito sa choose your domain, so kahit i-click mo na yung decide later kasi nilagay na natin yung new domain name natin nung bumili tayo ng web hosting. Automatic, makikita niya na yung domain name mo. And then, dito sa set up your website, since bagong website to, click mo tong start a new website and ang i-install natin is WordPress. So, choose WordPress. Dito sa other software, kahit i-live blank mo na lang yan. And dito sa WordPress login details mo, so create ka ng admin email. Kung ano yung email na gusto mong gamitin sa WordPress, kung ano yung username na gusto mong gamitin, and iyong password. So, make sure na tandaan mo yung mga important details na to kasi ito yung gagamitin mo pag nagre-login ka na sa iyong WordPress account or sa iyong website. Once okay ka na sa mga login details mo, click confirm. And then, tick this box to confirm that you agree to their terms and privacy policy. And then, click Complete Setup. So, wait ka ng ilang minutes para ma-install yung WordPress sa iyong account. Kapag yung account setup takes longer than expected, i-email ka nila kapag natapos na siya. So, you can click now to proceed to Customer Area. Once natapos nang i-install ang WordPress, makakareceive ka ng email that your hosting account setup is completed. Now, pwede ka nang mag-login sa iyong bagong WordPress website. Click mo lang tong admin URL. Pero bago ka mag-login sa iyong website, kailangan mo munang i-update ang iyong DNS settings or yung iyong domain name server settings. Importante ito dahil kailangan mong i-point yung iyong domain name sa iyong new hosting account. Para gawin yun, login ka lang sa iyong GoDaddy account. Under dito sa My Products, so piliin mo lang yung iyong domain name and then click Manage. Under dito sa Additional Settings, Click mo tong Manage DNS. And then, makikita mo tong name servers. Click mo tong Change. Click mo tong Enter my own name servers. And then, dito sa name server 1, punta ka lang dun sa email mo. So, i-copy mo to. I-paste mo siya dito. So, tanggalin mo yun. And then, dito sa name server 2, I-copy mo yung isa pang NS2. And then, i-paste mo siya dito. So, tanggalin mo yung mga braces. And then, click save. So, okay na siya nun. Now, ready na tayo sa step 4 which is install a theme. To do that, kailangan mong mag-login sa iyong bagong WordPress website. Pwede mong i-click itong admin URL na na-receive mo kanina. And then, i-bookmark mo na lang tong URL na to para madali mo siyang ma-access. Or kung makalimutan mo siya, type mo lang ang iyong domain name. Forward slash wp-admin and then, input ka lang ng email address or username na sinatap mo kanina and ang iyong password. Once nakalagin ka na, you can use this WordPress starter. Click start now. Dito, may mga free and paid themes sila na available. Pwede kang mag-start sa mga free. Pili ka lang dito sa mga category. Once nakapili ka na, click mo lang tong select. And then, pwede mong i-install itong free plugin by Elementor. Madali tong gamitin para i-edit yung mga pages dito sa website. So, click tong confirm. And then, ito mga additional plugins lang to. So, kahit wag ka munang mag-select sa mga to. Later on, pwede ka namang mag-install na lang ng mga plugins. Click continue. And additional plugin din. So, kung gusto mong i-install na tong mga to. Pero for now, let's complete this step. And then, i-install nyo na yung iyong theme. 
So now, ready na ang yung website. You can go to dashboard or pwede mong i-view yung website. So, pakita ko muna sa inyo kung ano yung itsura ng dashboard. So, heto na yung itsura ng iyong WordPress dashboard. From here, pwede ka nang mag-add ng post, mag-add ng mga pages, palitan mo ang iyong website title. So, pwede mo siyang i-explore. So, tingnan natin kung ano yung itsura ng theme na pinili natin kanina. Click mo tong my blog and then visit site. So, heto na yung design ng website based dun sa theme na pinili ko. From here, pwede uh, magpalit ka na lang ng mga menu names and then yung content, si edit mo na lang yung mga to. Then, yung iyong mga social media links and yung mga categories. Try natin mag-create ng new post. So, go to your dashboard and click post and then click add new. Enter your blog post title here. And then you can now start writing. To insert an image, so simply click anywhere here and click add image. And then all you have to do is upload your image. Select an image. And then, it will be uploaded here. And then, next, if you want to put a category, so choose a category from the one that you have already or pwede kang mag-create ng new category. So there, meron ka ng category. And then, kung gusto mong mag-add ng featured image, so click set featured image. And then, just choose your image and click set featured image again. That's it. And kung gusto mo na siyang i-publish, so click mo lang tong publish. And kung gusto mo na siyang i-publish immediately, so just click publish. Or kung gusto mo siyang schedule, like, for example, tomorrow or next week. So, pili ka lang ng date here. And you may now click publish. Let's see kung anong itsura niya sa ating website. Yung new blog post is na-added na siya dito sa ating contents. Ganun lang kadali guys yung paggamit ng WordPress website. That's it for today's video guys. If you have questions, clarifications, please let me know in the comments. If you want me to upload more on how to edit a WordPress website, comment I want more tips. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.